Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to read chapter six of Pickle Puss today. Let's see how it works out for Emily as she tries to collect her fish and find a cat. Emily found the last strawberry in her cereal. She popped it into her mouth. It tasted wonderful. She tasted, or she twisted the radio knob. The weatherman was saying it was hot. He was right, Emily thought. She put the bowl in the sink. Then she went out the door. Beast was waiting. They wanted to find the cat today. Stacy was outside, too. She was wearing an old Halloween costume. I'm Stacy Arrow, princess, Stacy said. I'll come with you. They went down the street. They turned the corner. Here, kitty, Emily called. How do you make an S, Stacy asked, for my name? Like a snake, said Emily. She made her neck fat, and she hissed a little. I know that one, Stacy began to screech. Here, cat, come to Stacy. You're going to scare him away, said Beast. They looked under the bushes. S like a snake, Stacy sang, a Stacy snake. They passed Don Bosco's house. Dawn was sitting on her front steps. She was reading a fat book. Snaggle doodles, Emily said. Hi, Don, Beast yelled. Want to help us look for a cat? Dawn put her book down. Sure, she said. I have a cat now, too. I found him. Emily frowned a little. What does he look like? What comes after S? Stacy said. Never mind, Emily said. She looked at Dawn. What? Tell me, Stacy said. Please. Emily made a cross with her two thumbs. T. Stacy nodded. I almost forgot. Dawn bent down to look under a car. Emily bent down to look too. My cat is black and white, she said. Mine has a white tip on his tail, said Dawn. Hey, said Beast. There he is. Emily stood up. Where? Look, Beast pointed up, in the tree. Emily shaded her eyes. Here, pickle puss, Stacy yelled. Come on down. I have cat food, Emily told Don. He's mine, said Don. I'll get him, Beast said. He jumped for a branch. The cat meowed. I saw him first, Emily said. My mother said I could have him, said Don. So did mine. I asked her last night, said Emily. My mother was glad. She crossed her fingers. Her mother hadn't been so glad. Emily had begged until her mother said yes. Be Beast reached up. The cat climbed on his arm. Yow, said Beast. His claws are sharp. He climbed down with it. Emily grabbed for the cat. So did Don. Wait, said Beast. Choose for him. I'm not choosing, said Don. Me neither, said Emily. Want to make a bet? asked Beast. He's really mine, said Don. He slept with me last night. What bet? Emily asked. Beast looked up in the air. Whoever gets the most fish keeps him. Stacy frowned. Emily's not such a hot reader. All right, said Don. I'll bet. I am so a hot reader, said Emily. I'll bet too. Cross your heart, Don said. All right, there they are, fighting over the cat. Spit on my toes, Emily said. Beast put the cat down. Emily reached for it. So did Don. Don scooped it up. I'll keep him for now. He likes it at my house. Emily stood there for another minute. She wanted to grab the cat. She put up her nose in the air. Mongoose, what's that? Don asked. Come on, Emily told Stacy. I'm going home to read. All right, so now she's going to try to win the cat. Have a good day, boys and girls. Get all of your work done.